Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today uh, we're headed out. If you saw yesterday's video, you know that we are in a holiday weekend. Today is holiday Monday. It's Thanksgiving Monday in Ontario and we celebrated yesterday with our family. You should check out that video. It was one of my, like, saw my videos that I make that are my favorite videos. I watch over and over and over. I watch parts of that video over and over and over. My favorite part of Thanksgiving this year was the hay rides. That Sam nailed it with that. Sam gets award of the year for that. That was amazing. What was your favorite part? Um, when Jack was yelling at me to well, yelling at us to wait. Yeah, when poor baby Jack who fell in love. He first he was terrified of wagon rides, and then he uh, fell in love with them. And he came up to the house at one point, and Sam was taking the kids for like he had the trailer down at the barn. And he was bringing them back on the trail ride and Jack was at the house and all of a sudden Jack started screaming and all the little kids jumped off the trailer and my nephew too. And he ran down the hill with his arms up saying, wait for me! Like it just was so beautiful and amazing. And anyways, today we are going back to where we left off on trailer training Penny. She's already been trailer trained, obviously. She came from the state, she's been in the trailer, she's done it all. But for some reason, when the lady went to load her into our trailer, she kinda was nervous and scared and reactive and and has never changed since then. So I don't know what happened, where it happened, if it happened then, she wouldn't get on the trailer for the lady. It took like a long time. And then now, we are going backwards, step by step, and I have a new plan for today. If you saw the other video, you saw I made a few mistakes that led to me almost being killed. <laughs> but today, I have a new plan, and I'm gonna show you guys right now. walked up on this trailer so kind I be nice so quiet and I haven't shown you guys but lots of times when I bring Penny in the trailer we stand and we just be calm and she's a lot calmer she's listening where are my ponies going yeah but girl yeah I honestly feel like we've worked past the part where she was scared of the trailer she's not scared of the trailer anymore she's just not sure what I expect from her and the thing about an unconfident horse or at least my unconfident horse is that she likes to know what to expect so that she can perform properly and I feel like I'm the same way. I feel like most of us are the same way. My part in making Penny not behave was that I don't always know all the rules or how to speak to her in horse language and that's what I'm working on. I'm working on learning to speak her language so she knows what to expect so she becomes more confident. I hope that makes sense. Wait, so she knows. She wants, she knows we're going off. She knows the routine. She knows she's going to get a treat. We're just waiting. We're just waiting because I'm going to try and teach Penny patience and not to be anxious. That's what today's lesson is all about. She's a lot more settled this time, getting in the trailer, waiting for them to close the door up. Yeah, and she looks in my eyes. She's looking and she's asking me, like, I wish I could get it when she does it, you guys. She, like, she just about did it. Like, she looks in my soul. She, see, there, she's doing it. She did it. It's different with the camera there, but she does. She looks to me and she says, are we okay? We're okay, Pen. We're okay. Like, I will kill this hay. If I get this right, I'll be able to take her someplace and take her out of the trailer at someplace and get her back on the trailer. This is, this is like, 
Penny is experienced and she knows stuff. She knows everything and she knows it well. It's just a matter of me reinforcing it here and knowing how to tell her. So if we get this far, then we will be able to, like my goal of riding her off property it might work out. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you, like you. down there calling for Penny. So uh, we did the same drive. We did everything the same, but this is what I'm gonna change. Well, the last time I took Penny off when she was kind of like anxious, like get me the heck off this trailer. And today I'm gonna wait and just stand in here and let her calm her jets. I don't know if you guys can tell she is shaking. Her whole body is just shaking. So a reminder, she's okay, you're okay. I feel like she's less nervous than, oh, less nervous than last time, but she is still nervous. Just shaking like crazy. Good girl, you're home, Penny Pickle. I'm just gonna sit in here on my little stool while she throws a fit. She's throwing a fit, she's like, what is happening? I'm just gonna pretend that like nothing's happening, nothing's going on. I'm still kind of nervous because I just can't see her calming down. All right, so we're about 10 minutes in and she's just getting more ramped up, you guys. Are, are you sure this is the real thing? Is this the real deal? Is this it? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Because she's not getting calmer. It could be because Willow's down there calling for her. Like, look at her, she's eating the hay. Try to eat the hay. All right, well, maybe she's getting better. All right, so she just had her first full-blown tantrum. I've never seen her that mad before. Like, she, like, snorted like a wild animal on a TV show. Snorted her whole lips up to her eyeballs. She thinks I'm just going to let her out right now. Okay, so now I'm way more scared than normal. Like, I'm terrified now because she's not calming down. Okay, you're okay. We're here together, Pen. We're here together. So now we have Gabby here. We all just be hanging, hanging with the wild horse. Penny turned wild. She snorted and put her lips all the way up to her eyeballs. It's because Willow was calling from the field. It's okay. See, look at her now. Her eyes are saying, like, help me, help me, help me. You're okay, Penny. You're okay. It's okay. Whoa. 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 Shh. Holy God. Penny. Hey. Shh. All right, Gabby, what am I going to do? I feel like I need to lead her out, but I, I feel can't. Like you don't need to lead her out. I need to lead lead her out. I you need, need to lead her out once. Everybody thinks the girls like are being mean about it, but they're really just worried and want me to be safe. So we cheated and brought. Oh, we cheated and brought the pony. I don't know if it worked because you were slow or it worked because you had the pony. Or... I don't know what it was, but she was still anxious, still shivering, still freaking out. But I think it was just like all she knew what to expect getting off the trailer. I think that's what it was. I think she wanted off, but she already knew what she had to do. Okay, so I don't know what happened there specifically if it was because we brought Willow up, but I don't think it was because she was still shaking like crazy when I took her off the trailer. Yes, I know, it was you. You were causing so much trouble, screaming for your friend. Just screaming for her. 
She's like, I know I was. Hey, Gabby got my dog in trouble for barking. And Daisy kept talking to Gabby, like, how dare you? Yeah, Gabby she's getting her in trouble. She's like that. Our, yeah. She's like, she's like oh, Finn. Oh, yeah. Sophie has, like, all the most loving pets. Anyway, it is scorching out here. I need to get changed. Ow. Sorry. Like, it is so hot. You stepped on my hurt toe. I'm sorry. Anyways, now we're headed over to the other barn to see our boys. It's been a couple of days and I'm dying to see them. Found us a Palomino pony, but no Chino boy. So we're being really quiet. See ya. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. Of course he's not. The one that needs to be eating. He's nowhere near food. Mm -mm. Aw, yay. He's over there with his uh, friend. He's he coming. I believe he's right there. All right, you want me to come with you? Yeah. He hangs out with Jerry. Sometimes I think he wants to be in that field. Sometimes he I think that's... Fence into that field. I know, that's a better field for him. He's such a passive horse. So, I mean, when we moved to this barn, the man, the owner said, like, there's not a mean horse here. And I was like, yeah, right, there's always a mean horse. <laughs> And obviously there's not a mean horse. It's a whole thing about how horses, there's always a leader, blah, blah, blah. I know, but I'm just talking to Laura language. Oh my God, I'm in quicksand. Help. Like that really is quicksand. How am I getting out of here? Oh, good. It's easy. Anyways, so I like kind of like took it with a grain of salt and was like, okay, whatever you can say. There's like... No, he said there's no aggressive horses here. Literally, being here a year now, not a mean horse in this in this barn. Like, I feel like this is probably wrong, but the horses here are so happy. Oh, huh. oh, good. Aw, so the two nicest horses here. Chino's with those guys. Oh my gosh. He, he, he's with the nice horses. He's finding his friends. I think that's what happened. I think Storm left and he didn't have a protector anymore. And now he found his group. He found his team, but he's still standing back. See all the horses from that field? Visit him with the horses in this field. Aw, the horses missed us. So anyways, point them all my stories that I started and didn't finish are that there are all the horses here are amazing a lot of it I feel like has to do what no you can't jump them no walk trot poles and up hills that's it vets orders so this is why I never let him hold the lead rope also I was saying that I feel like the owner in this place is literally the calmest man in the history of the world. He's relaxed and calm and kind and gentle always. Hi, handsome. And I think that plays like such a big role. It's like not a, it's not a, it's not a stressful place. So our horses aren't stressed. None of them are stressed. But anyways, moving on. The last time we, the last time you saw us here, uh, the chiropractor came and she adjusted our horses and we're hoping to see like a big change in them, in both of them. So there's that, which I think, you know. He's been Ooh, getting Oh, Finny. And then, um, he has a bump. He doesn't even care. Yeah, he doesn't touch you, so no static electricity. Aww, and he stinks. So, Sophie's still riding in the Miklum. Because I can. <laughs> okay, too much sugar for that girl. Too much pumpkin I pie! Can't have any sugar. You have pumpkin pie. Hey guys, I am home alone. That never happens. It is glorious though. Sam and the girls went to pick up Kaylee. No holiday is complete without some Kaylee time. She's gonna ride a Gracie. She's gonna ride Gracie in the outdoor and get her used to that. If you guys saw yesterday's video, Gracie has been back to normal. In the spring, she was kind of weird. 
wild, but I guess that's spring fever for horses, but Gracie was a rock star for the grandkids. Something bad just happened. <laughs> Literally so bad. bad. Okay. okay. So, this is it. This, this is what's happening. Oh, Kaylee bought a car. Oh, did she buy a car? I got a car. That's what I was expecting you to get a small white car. It is a small white car. Oh. I'm expecting you to though. Gonna adjust the oh mirror. my gosh. Okay, so anyways, you've been driving a lot? Yes. Like pretty much every day. <laughs> Okay, we're, With her father we're going mother. to Starbucks for coffee. Keys. It's far, and it's Kaylee's driving. Yet. Sam was supposed to drive, and then all of a sudden, I look over and Kaylee's sitting in the driver's seat. So yeah, pray for us all, you guys. If we don't have a vlog tomorrow, you know why. You know why. <laughs> Don't scare her and kill us all. Slow it down, sister. <laughs> you do not earn the right to go the speed limit until you, until you've been driving for six months. We made it! We made it to the coffee stop shop. She drove like where I don't even like to drive. So they're gonna go in and get coffee. I'll give Gabby. Gabby, you got money? Gabby, I need my wallet. Did you park past the thing? Back up. There's nobody there. Back up. Where is the thing? that the thing? Oh my god, we're backing up in a circle. Kaylee, just talk loud, Kaylee. Just talk loud. What are we getting? What are we getting? I think she drove up because she wanted to see the board. Okay, we won two curly chicken fries. Wings and curly but fries. chicken wings. Look at how I mean, gorgeous the I mean, sky is, you guys. Cotton candy, candy skies. Like hey, Trooper, are you just hey, curious? Are you ready? Hi, can I get two things of the adult chicken strips with curly fries? We have a three strip and a five strip. It'll be a, a five minute wait. Five Good strip. Can we get two of the five strip ones? Holy moly. Okay. And those are with curly fries? So it's a curly fries, do you want? Large. Large. Kaylee, I can't believe Kaylee's driving, you guys. Like, I just can't believe it. Like, where did the time go? Like, oh, yeah. when we met you, you were a little tiny girl, and now she's driving. We met her when she was 12. She was 12? She was Sophie's age. That was. But she was just a little. That was four years ago. Yeah, long time, you guys. This is what happens. This is what happens. Before long, you're driving at night with a bunch of girls in a car. Not, not even terrified. Fries. She actually drives really well. Do you want crinkle fries instead? No. All right, we are on a wagon ride. You guys, we're addicted to the wagon ride. Whoa, this is terrifying. Let's Wolf see. Jumps out That's our house up there. <laughs> Hopefully we don't run over my cat. Yeah, the cat was there today. Gabby and Kaylee and Sophie and Sam in the front drive in. We got Ruby. She loves it. Look at her. <laughs> That's so funny. Like she she gets tired of running. She's seven. I didn't even know. She's seven. But anyway, she gets tired of running. And she climbs up. Oh my god, I feel like we're gonna tip. But, no, but Molly over there never gets Oh my god. yelling at me. Ooh, we're wish... not gonna tip. Usually there's like people on both sides. I feel tippy. It feels tippy. If it tips, we're in big trouble. I'm going underneath it. No, if it tips, <laughs> if it tips, we all jump. Anyway, this is our farm at night, you guys. What do you think? If it tips, I attack the branches in the back. <laughs> She'll fall forward, silly. Don't you know that you're beautiful?